Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is me showing you how I get this and it's pretty quick, it so doesn't take too long. Some of it's heatless, some of it is with a bit of heat but yeah I think it's a better option than just using a curling wand for the whole head. So yeah please keep watching if you want to see how I get this. Right, so you want to start with a shampoo and a conditioner that's good for curls so anything that will say like curl defining or anything like that I use the function of beauty and you get to pick like five different things that you want your hair quality to be so I picked curl defying, uh, colour protection, shine, hydration and what was the other one? No frizz so I use this one and I use the conditioner to go with it. Then once I wash my hair, I towel dry it or I use a t-shirt or anything that's cotton because cotton's better than towel material. One pump or two pumps just depending on in that week to say if my hair feels a bit more dry. Of this Pantene Pro-V dry oil with vitamin E. Looks like this. Don't know if you can see that. Yep. Then I also use a curl cream because then it'll keep all your curls in that you've created. So the one that I've really been loving is by the brand Coconut, but it's spelt like this. And it's a curl booster and it smells so nice. It's a bit like um essential oils. Uh what's that essential oil smell that I'm thinking of? eucalyptus it smells a little bit like eucalyptus it's really lovely um so yeah i use that so i use one pump of the oil and then i use one pump of this well i say one pump but about like sort of a pea-sized amount that's about good to rub it in between my hands run it through my hair while my hair's still wet and then i give it like a few hours because my hair's quite thick so i give it about a few hours just to get sort of dry but not too dry um it's gonna have to, it's still got to feel a bit damp to the touch so that the curls will keep in place so when i've done all that and i've left it in for a bit i'll plait my hair in two french plaits from the front all the way down and i have these cute little colored bubbles that i do so i try and sleep in them but if i struggle and i'm and it, I can't get to sleep if one piece is pulling and it's really bugging me then I'll take it out and I'll just do it the next morning because my hair if you if, if it's obviously in the morning if it is dry then just get a little bottle like this get any little bottle fill it with water and just give all your hair like lift up bits of your hair and spray it over again just to get it a little bit more damp and then pluck your hair in the morning and give it a few hours and then take it out and I'm not going to just pull them out really fast. I'm going to take them out really gently like this just to try and keep the form a little bit and keep the curls nice and defined like that Now this is what I'm left with. So then, I grab my curling wand, any sort of thin-ish curling wand will do, and I just, anywhere that looks a bit flat, so like, as you can see, like my hair sort of sits a bit flat, I'll just grab the odd section, so it won't be every single piece, and I'll just do it like this. And I, would, I try and leave a bit of a space in between the hair, so it's not super, super curly and then come down a bit because my hair's quite it's not that long but you know for longer hair you have to do it in sections like this and take you don't need to do every single piece just take odd sections and do them all different ways so don't all do them facing back do some facing forward So 
So now I'm just going to keep doing that to the rest of my hair and then I'll come back to you for my next bit. Then once you're happy with how many curls you've got and you like the waviness, you like the curls, it's a bit of a mix. Um, the last thing that I do is choose the curly ones to just curl a few of the little ends so that they don't look as straight as what the plaits created. So I'll just add a few little waves, curls, whatever you want to call them. I won't curl the whole thing, just little bits at the bottom. Like this. Just like that. And I'll do that to, I won't do it to every single piece. I'll just do it to the ones that are looking a bit too straight for my liking. So as you can see, this side compared to this side just looks so much better. I just think it blends in so much nicer and I'm just going to finish this side and then I'm done. So this is what it looks like after I've curled pieces, plaited it, curled the ends and what I like to do is I just like to flip my head over and shake it out. So yeah, after I've given it a bit of a zhuzh and I've shaked it out, um, this is the finished look. Hope you like it. I love it because it's just so voluminous and um, makes your hair look really full. I, I mean, I do have quite a lot of hair myself anyway, but I just love the way it looks. I, I think it looks a bit more natural with the waves from the plaits and then just adding a few in. And it's also not as damaging for your hair because you're not doing a whole head of hair using heat. So this is a quicker way and a better way for your hair to do it, to get curls. <laughs> So yeah, thank you for watching my video and if you did like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time.